Good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. Uh, one second. Uh, priorities here. I need to take a sip of this. Oh. Got to have priorities. First thing I do is read my Bible. Second thing I do is pray to my God, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In Jesus' name. And then I come to work and handle stuff like this. And this today involves, uh, we've got a switch uh, that keeps going down up in the uh, intensive care unit. Um, so first thing I did was come down here and make sure everything looks secure down here on this, this switch that connects to it. Everything does. Fiber connection seems secure. So now I'm going to start walking out <laughs> downstream towards the switch and check the fibers uh, along the way. This one's kind of a, I don't like the way it's set up, but it's not in my, it's out of my hands. Um, it's the way engineering did it. There is a cross patch in another room. So from here it goes to another room, it's patched over to another patch panel, and then it goes up to ICU is up on the second floor. I'm down here in, of course, the basement. So, um, I've verified this side. I'm not going to mess with that because, I mean, I stuck my fingers in there and the fiber is very secure. I jiggled it a little bit. Looks looks good. Um, I don't think anybody's been messing with anything in there. So, because we've got this, this door is always closed in engineering, even if they brush up against the cabinet, they're not going to hurt the fiber, so. All right, I'm going to move along to the next uh, next spot and we'll see what we got there. So I'm going to put you guys on ignore for just a minute. All right, we are in the next stop along our journey. Let me orient you as to where we are. This is one of our wiring closets that's uh, co-located with this big old uh, air conditioning unit should say air treatment it does all kinds of stuff I've showed you these before but just kind of showing you where we are we're here in the big uh, air handling room it's an air handler I guess come through that door to get in here we go through this door to get in here and then we're going through that door to get to my switches so show you what we're dealing with. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing my badge like this, we just got issued new badges and don't really want to show that off. I don't want folks to know what our badges look like. So here's what I got. Um, sorry about the hand and the poor videography. So we come up from the MDF and it gets crossed over, cross patched over here. So it's going to come up from the MDF right here and then it's going to go up to the second floor, which is where I need to go, right here. So I need to figure out which one of these is the fiber I need to check on. And uh, to do that, I need to check my notes. And um, yep, there I am. That's going to be really boring. So what I'm going to do is put you on ignore again. So uh, minimal time will pass for you who are watching while while I search through my copious notes for which is the actual patch I'm looking for. So I'll be right back. Okay. Luckily I didn't need my notes. Ah, well, I've already buttoned everything back up because I labeled the cables. Um, I, I like self-documenting cables. to tell you where they're from, where they're to, what they're for. So I was able to come in here and I didn't document it on my Intermapper program. This is, I use Intermapper by the way. And you can see right there, I went ahead and added the uh, cross patch information on that, this thing here. I had, I had it down that it was cross patched in this room, but um, I did not have what the actual port numbers were. So I verified that the fibers are snug right there. Um, now I'm going to go up to ICU into their network closet 
and I'm going to verify that everything up there is also snug. And if the link doesn't stay up after that, then then I'll start replacing fiber cables. But for right now, I just want to make sure that nobody's bumped anything or pulled anything, whatever. Just going to verify the cables. So uh, back on ignore you go because uh, patient privacy. Uh, once I get in the network closet up there, then then I'll resume. So we'll see you up there. All right, we have made it up to the ICU. You're going to say, but Mr. Network Admin, sir. Oh, gee, this looks like the same room you were in. It's one of the nice things about this part of the hospital is these rooms are all mirrored floor by floor. They look exactly the same. So we've got six of uh, these rooms, two, four, six of these rooms, yeah, total that are all wired exactly the same. So here's the uh, corresponding patch panel. And you can see this, this closet looks a little bit different. Um, it's actually a little bit cleaner than the one we were in. Far less spiders and bugs, because that one's on the ground floor outside. So I have checked, you know, kind of wiggled this one here, make sure it's nice and secure. And this goes to 19 and 20 over here. So to pull this patch panel pull out, you just have to press a little tab over here on the bottom and it'll it'll slide out as you can see. Um, I need two hands, so I'll be right back. All right, so it was plugged in right over here. <laughs> can you see that? It's plugged in right there and right here and I've checked both of those so now I'm going to uh, do the thing and uh, one more pause okay so this is what I see when these these things happen you know I'll do a show interface gig state on the port show interface gig state just shows the state of the port and a lot of times what I'll do is I'll, I'll pipe it through an include command that says include link flap. Um, but here we're just working with one, so and I know this is the port that I, that I would want to work with. But otherwise I could just say dis display all ports that show they're down for, for the reason is a link flap. So link flap just means that links going up and down multiple of times within a given time frame and, you know, the switch doesn't like that so you can see it's down because of a link flap um, to bring it back up you have to go into config mode uh, change to that interface and do a shut no shut and that's what I'm gonna do right now so stand by or you know what you can just sit there stare at the ceiling hello but I need both hands to type so I'm gonna get config T interface gig this one is four six four slash six. Shut, no shut. Then we're gonna do a show interface gig state four six again. All right. So coming back, you can see here. Went into uh, config mode. Went to that interface. I did a shut and a no shut and then just wanted to show the state to see if it was up again. So the other thing I'm going to do real quick is um, display the uh, port errors, which is probably going to take, take a little bit of uh, flubbing and retyping on my part, so stand by. All right, so I did a couple of things in the fraction of a second that passed since I last talked to you. Um, so I took a look at the uh, stats on that port, and you can see there's a ton of frame check errors right there. Um, a lot of link failures, just a bad link altogether. So what I did is clear the stats for that port, and then showed them again, and uh, I'm just going to do an up arrow to uh, see how they have changed. So we haven't had any changes yet. So that's not the inner key. 
So we have not detected any errors yet. So that doesn't mean that these fibers are in the clear, but um, whatever was causing the errors isn't manifesting itself within a few seconds. So that's, that's a good thing, actually. Um, could just be that, you know, I can feel this room. Let's see if a pick comes up on camera. I'll put this down here. I don't know if you guys can hear that vibration, but this, this whole room is shaking, and it's from this air handler next door here. So uh, sometimes I wonder if these don't just kind of work themselves out a little bit because of all the vibration. So I am going to put this guy back. Whoops. Slide him back in. Close the dough. All right. So I'm going to put that in. Leave it alone. Apparently I have suspected this guy in the past because I've got a spare SFP sitting here uncovered, so that does a lot of good, Mr. Network Admin. Um, and it looks like the link is down again, so let's take a look. So I'm not seeing any errors on that link. Let me type a few more things. I'm going to get into this switch here and see if it's down for another reason. Be right back. Well, that stinks. When I had this, uh, my video on pause, I got a call from my credit union asking about a fraudulent credit card transaction, which I made this morning, so it wasn't fraudulent. Anyway, so I uh, connected to this switch over here, um, switch that I'm working with here, and um, it's still showing that link is in uh, ready. Uh, here, let me, let me show you. That Mo Beta. Um, let me set you down for a second. Show port 352. So you can see that says it's in ready mode. Um, yeah, that's no good. So we got a we got a fiber fault somewhere. I'm gonna start with this end. I'm gonna replace that fiber and uh see if I, see if we get any relief from this so stand by putting you back on pause while i replace that fiber okay so i finally did before i went down chasing the fiber i, I did what probably smarter people like you guys would have told me to do in the comments which is go was just check the the uh, sorry there i am check the uh, receive power on the sfp so on this particular one, um, see right here, we've got a, uh, a low alarm. So, and I did, when I plugged this, the old cable back in, not this new one, plugged the old one back in, I could actually see light coming through, but it was kind of skewed. It didn't look quite right. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go on down to the, uh, the room where this is patched. I'm gonna replace that patch cable and then I'm going to check this uh, receive power again when I get there. See what it looks like. So we'll catch up with you down there. Okay, well I really didn't want to have to edit this video, but I need, needed my camera, so I had to stop the video again. Um, so what I am finding is I can see the light coming out of my uh, SFP here. I don't see any light coming out of this guy. Um, so, what I'm going to do is just start following it back. I'm going to go back downstairs to that room, and uh, that room being the uh, where the cross patch is, and see if I can see some light um, from both ends. I'm going to look from this end too. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put the old fiber back on because. Um, It's already labeled. I don't have to make a new label. I mean, look at the size of this label. I'm a label making fool is what I am. Look, look at the size of this thing. Look at all that stuff I'd have to type on that teeny tiny label maker. So I'm gonna put this fiber back on and I'm gonna go downstairs and uh, start tracing light out. So uh, we'll be right back. 
Okay, so to catch you up, I was just down, went back down to the first floor in 1593 to be precise, and uh, replaced that crossover patch cable. Uh, I still wasn't getting any link on this guy, so I came up and just reseated this cable. And uh, you can see we got two link lights flashing now instead of just one, that's good. And um, the light level still doesn't look all that great. But come over here and look at port 352. It shows that it's active and I'm not seeing any errors yet. So uh, we'll see. Let's see what happens. Let's look at the um, light levels. What was that command? It's here in my buffer somewhere. There we go. That space, 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 space. We've got a weak Wi-Fi signal back here, so it takes a minute. It's kind of slow. Like really slow. I sure hope that's not the network. Okay, there's three fifty one. Here's 352. And let me scroll up a little bit here. You can let me scroll up. Come on, bro, let me scroll up. All right. So here it is. You guys at uh know more about uh, fiber optics than I do take a look at those numbers see if the, I mean everything's saying normal but I mean as far as the transmit power and the receive power I you know these these guys right here I'm not sure if those are normal or not I mean I guess I could compare them to other switches but at this moment in time I am not sure so leave a comment below how that looks so uh, anyway, um, hide my badge. So that's uh, that's it for this morning. I've gone up and down the stairs twice. Well, oh, took the elevator. And uh, one cup of coffee later, and everything looks pretty normal. So uh, I guess I'm just going to monitor this for the rest of the day. Check it again tomorrow morning, see how it goes. So uh, that's it for this week's video. If you guys like what you saw, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a comment below. Um, just in your comments, it's kind of pointless to tell me stop talking about God. Well, somebody said stop talking about religion. I don't talk about religion. I don't talk about Islam or Christianity or Hinduism or Mormonism. I don't talk about religion. I talk about God. And his one and only son, Jesus. So, everybody have a great uh, week, and we'll see you next time. God bless.